Saturday, but what was the takeaway from competing against Jamar and what did you kind of tell uh, him after the game on Saturday? Uh, uh, you know, it was, it was fun going against him. You know, uh, he, he made a play, you know, and I just had to let him know, you know, I'd give him that one catch or whatever, you know. So uh, it was cool going against him, you know, and um, just looking forward to, you know, in the future, more more matchups. What do you expect from Caleb next year, Chris? Caleb. The little time that, you know, you got to see him this year? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, just, you know, first, you know, you just got to come back mentally, you know, prepare, you know, uh, I know it's tough, you know, dealing with those injuries. So just want to uh, make sure, you know, that he's re ready mentally, you know, before he can get on the field physically. Uh, and, you know, um, he'll, I think he'll be fine. You know, you know, he knows the game of football. You know, he, he's, he's a great corner. He wouldn't be here if he wasn't. So, uh, you know, just, um, you know, helping him any kind of way I could in the offseason, you know. Uh, you know, I made a big stride, you know, in my second year. So, you know, I look forward to helping him make that stride. Did you help him? Mentally, I mean, I know you missed mm. a lot of time also during your rookie year. Mm. Is that something that you guys are able to talk about much more this year? Yeah, uh, like I said, uh, the coaches encourage us, you know, to uh, get extra, extra treatment outside the building. So, uh, and that's why I made my big jump, I would say, you know, uh, my second year. So, uh, definitely talking to him about that, you know, and uh, obviously, you know, honing in on the film and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, we talked a little bit. You want to see Jamar do well now? Are you, are you pulling for the Bengals? Of course. Or? Of course, you know, uh, I mean, I got guys on all teams, I feel like, you know, so, uh, you know, I wish all of them the best of luck, and, you know, whoever wins, it wins, you know, we not in it, so it's tough. You're a confident guy, you always been a confident guy, but did you improve anything yourself this year, just the way mm -hmm. you kind of handled the season and the way you performed mm -hmm. uh, on, a, on a consistent basis? Yeah, uh, you know, uh, I mean, I always knew I could do it, you know, it was just uh, the matter of being out there, you know, and, uh being uh proving it to myself mentally you know that uh, you know i could stay on the field you know and i could uh lock in on things each week you know uh like i said they wanted to see consistency you know out of me and, you know i feel like you know i kind of put that out there you know when i had the chance to christian given the success of the season and the belief you guys had even with 30 seconds left in the game saturday does this day feel kind of surreal or does it feel all too real that you're here? uh it, it's still kind of surreal to me right now you know i kind of expected you know us to go all the way uh, but you know, things don't always go how you go. You know, you just gotta play, play hot, play, play things how they play out. You know, so uh, just gotta move forward. You know, get ready. You know, start training in the off season. Get ready for next year. Can you use it as a motivation? Hmm. Can you use it as a motivation moving forward, or is it one of those things nah, where next year's going to be Nah, definitely. I use I use everything as motivation, me personally. So uh, I'm sure the team will too. You know, so uh, I'm sure they'll remember the feeling. Uh, I mean, we we just playing a call at that point, you know, uh, just great throw and catch.